Good morning, it's warm in here, quite cold out there. My granddaughter, Naya, is staying with us for a few days now until Christmas Eve, maybe? Yeah. How would you like to come out fishing now with your grandfather? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Yeah. Would you like to? <laughs> you just, oh, Dylan has to get in on the action. You're just saying that for the cameras, aren't you? You don't really want to come fishing, do you? Is it too cold? Will you stay in and enjoy? And I've been watching old movies over the last couple of days. And I've seen, while well, you've watched them while I'm talking there, my favourite brunette, which stars an American legend who was actually born in England with an English father and a Welsh mother from Barry to be personal. Well, she lived in Barry for a, a time there. Anyway, let's go fishing, shall we? And the other movie was Carry On Cabby. And you can check out the movie reviews that I do on my website. And I'm being followed around by Dilwyn. I wonder if you want to come fishing, Dilwyn. Do you want to come fishing? Or do you want to stay in by the warm fire? It is minus six after all out there. I'm fishing beneath a canal bridge. I've been having a few bites and I've missed all of them on a size 18 hook and a single maggot. Now conventional wisdom tells you to go even smaller, keep it as small and as fine as you possibly can, but I'm going to switch to a size 14, two maggots, and I'm absolutely convinced it will work. It worked. It's great when a plan comes together, especially when it's minus six degrees. And the reason behind my thinking was there are lots of small fish out there. There are one or two decent ones in with them. That's what I would like to catch. Let's step it up. They won't be afraid of a couple of maggots on a bigger hook. And the thing is as well, when there are so many fish, they are very competitive and that will perhaps get them to feed a little bit more readily than if they were on their own. Very enjoyable indeed. Very cold, but very enjoyable. And again, I lost count of the number of fish that I caught. Interesting way of looking at things, isn't it? Which I've done for many, many years now. Instead of thinking, how low do I need to go in terms of hook and line, etc., I actually think, how high can I raise the bar and get away with it? And it works, as I've proved today. I was supposed to be in Flint this evening for a game in the JD Cymru Premier, the top flight of Welsh football, but that, understandably, has been called off. So, I'm home now. I'm going to have a shower, get changed and go for a birding walk in the valley with my binoculars. I do feel very blessed to have this on my doorstep. Just seconds away from where we live is the lane and then you've got all the woodland and fields from then onwards. I do a lot of birding here. I enjoy walking up and down the lane sometimes and often through the woods themselves. And if you are interested in nature, I do keep a, a blog, particular nature diary, based on the valley where I live. And of course, as always with everything else, you can find that on my website. 